Now, one of the main reasons why I'm so interested in this day-night cycle that they've introduced in 5.5 is that the, my plugin, the Atmos Forge, does actually come with a day-night uh, sort of like uh, setting. So it does have this light pitch functionality. So basically, you can see it over here. Now, if I decrease this, it will turn into night and then we have the night sky and everything. And then if I turn and crank it up again, it, we can go into the other side and again get a night sky and things like that, right? So this is quite an interesting thing because I'm going to have to work out how I can then integrate this particular thing, this this new feature in the Atmos Forge. But let's just see how we can actually use it right now in 5.5 without having any plugin, just how we can have it bare boned. Uh, you know, just, just having the experimental feature enabled. So this is actually quite interesting because uh, it is classed as a plugin. So what you need to do is go into edit and then select plugins. And over in here, type in um, basically cycle. I think cycle will bring it up. No, actually, let's just try day. Okay, so that's fine. It's called day sequence. I thought it was cycle. Right, so you've got day sequence. So you're going to have to enable this. And once you do, the, this, you will get a, a, a warning that it's an experimental feature. Just press yes that you want to enable it. And then you have to restart the project to do that. So I'm going to do that now. And then we'll head back into the project and, uh, you know, start from there. Okay, we're now back in the engine and we do have the plugin enabled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Atmos Forge over here. And F basically, I'm just going to have to disable the volumetric clouds. And I'm also going to have to disable the atmosphere directional light because we can no longer use the Atmos Forge if we're going to enable this bit. So, you know, bear that in mind. What I'm going to do over here, I'm going to press the plus button and then I can actually search for this particular thing. So I'm just going to type in day and this will bring us all the options that are now available with this new plugin. The one that we're going to use is the Sun Moon Day Sequence Actor. So I'm just going to drag it into the world anywhere. And you'll now notice that it has added it to, the, to our word of scene. It's right here at the bottom. And it says Sun Moon Day Sequence Actor. Now you can see over here it has a time of day preview. And this allows us to scrub and basically bring in the uh, day and night. Now I can see the volumetric clouds have been added to the scene as well from the, uh, the, the epic stock. Basically, uh, volumetric clouds, they actually uh, seem to be different now from where they used to be. And also, their sort of direction is a bit different from my plugin. So that's something interesting to see. Uh, by the way, this environment here that you're seeing, this is a volcano auto material environment that uh, I'm working on right now and will be coming to the fab marketplace in the near future as well. It's basically it's going to be usable in other settings as well not just the volcano obviously but anyway yeah so we've got that you can see it's very bright over there as well now this particular thing apart from having this dial it doesn't really seem to have a lot of other things you can see over there the sun which i like the fact that it's like the disc is becoming larger the, uh, the more it sort of like goes over to the horizon and then as it comes out it does actually change it's uh, sort of like shape as it does. So this is quite nice. I'm going to leave it there so we can see it. But now you want, if you want to, you know, change a lot more of these settings, you can actually go over here where it says time of day. And if you click that, you can see that you've got another sort of like slider, which is the same one as the one at the bottom over here onto the display. Now it does do the same thing, but it does also allow you to kind of work out the fact that you can add this to a sequence if you'd like. So we're going to do that by actually, uh, what you go and see here, open root sequence. You can basically click that and this will open the uh, sequencer curve for you. And if you want to actually edit the... Uh, the, this sort of particular system and, you know, add, uh, edit this actual uh, set root, then what you do is if you select this second one here and double click it. Actually, uh, for some reason, it doesn't show me the timeline. So let's just have a look and see why that's not showing up, because I think other people might have this issue. And the reason why it's doing it is because it might open another uh, window somewhere else. So for me, because I've got multi screens, it's actually opened another window over here. So this is the sequencer one. I'm just going to drop it in, uh, over here because we don't need the curves. We need the actual sequencer itself. And what you're seeing is you're seeing two of them. Now, we're interested in the second track. And by the way, if you do move around this track, you'll see that it's actually animating um, the entire scene. Uh, over here, we're interested in the second one where it has a 24 hour. So I'm just going to double click that and this will open the actual um, setup of this whole sequence. Okay. Now, in here, you have a few settings that you can manually change because remember this Sun Moon Day sequencer. All in all, it is just a blueprint, but it's an engine blueprint. So that's why it's not going to, you know, allow you to edit over here. 
but you do have all the components of the blueprint down here so you've got an exponential height fog an atmosphere skylight volumetric cloud and so on now when unreal engine 5.5 does launch i am going to integrate all of this with the atmos forge but until then you know obviously we're just gonna have to work with what we have um with the with the uh, experimental plugin so over in here if you'd like you can change the intensity of the sunlight but what it's what is really interesting is that it doesn't seem to like necessarily work it doesn't really seem to be doing much even if you do this like 100 doesn't seem to really change a lot which is a bit uh you know a bit unfortunate because again this is just saying this is you don't really know which bit this is um like really controlling so it might also be that because you have uh, you know if you have a multiple directional lights in the scene you might have conflict so that's going to be something to make sure that you're not sort of like you know your project is not suffering from so to speak so you got to make sure that uh, uh you don't have any competing sort of uh, uh, uh you know um problems now what happens is if you go all the way to the bottom so you make it all dark you can see that stars up there and you can actually increase that intensity so let's say we put this to 100 you can see those stars really being very intensive right now and then you also have a moon intensity but we can really seem to be able to see the moon we do have a moon size we also have a sun size here as well which by the way seems to like not change when we move around uh it's going to be interesting to see if i can actually make the uh sun uh size increase so you can see that you can actually make the sun bigger or smaller so that works it's just the intensity doesn't work so i guess it's the sun intensity isn't the same thing as a directional light intensity so we're gonna have to edit that probably over here onto the right side i'm not sure where it says sun component sun and i think yeah there we go so if you do it from here it works but it doesn't work from uh the actual sequencer which is quite interesting but i think that's more to do with the fact that this is still an experimental feature and guys do remember that if you do support the if you want to support the the, the platform you can do so on patreon where you get access to all of my projects that i have for sale so just for one subscription you basically get everything and also you can go to my website 3d project masters or my unreal engine uh, marketplace and purchase any of my projects if you'd like to support the channel but let's get back to the tutorial now let's say you want to get rid of these clouds you don't want to use these clouds well that's not that complicated what you do is you'd go over here into the volumetric clouds and you would be able to like uh, you know when you click it when you click them you would be able to like change this so you can make them visible and act they're hidden so now they're gone and let's say you want to use the atmos forge clouds well at this point you can just go over back into the blueprint and just say you know what use volumetric clouds and you can see they're back in the world but they're not exactly performing very well because they're not integrated with this plugin so it you know take it with a grain of salt until 5.5 releases officially so i can get this merged we're not going to really see incredible results there uh but it's still nice that it can function so you know you can still you can still get uh, you can still get the effect it's just it's a bit too bright so bear that in mind and for some reason performance also takes a hit when i'm using the plugin uh, alongside the atmos forge i think it's due to be, being a problem with the uh, as i said with being experimental now one thing that uh, we can also do in here is you know pay, take that star back to maybe like a one so that's we can see them in the sky during the day this is a bit obviously running it at that intensity is not great i'm just going to disable the volumetric clouds from the atmos forge and i'm going to add back the clouds that come with this particular uh, system again you can see the stars are visible at uh, during the day if uh, you have the default values changed so i would definitely look at maybe doing a zero zero point you know five something like that just to make them disappear and let's see if they show up at night no it doesn't seem like they'll show up at night either uh so we are going to have to make sure that this is uh, a bit odd because if you keep it at one they are visible at night which is fine but they're also visible during the day not exactly perfect you know anyway uh now we do have a globe uh, cloud global coverage here so we can just control the clouds through this so if we put it to zero they're almost gone if we increase it it will add like this um overcast sky if we keep uh, building this up which is quite nice and you can bring it to a one which makes it so that the cloud you're no longer are able to see the sun and you know if we do this it'll get some nice effects now i can see that they have improved the volumetric clouds in 5.5 that's clear to me that the volumetric stock cloud system is better than what it usually is and i like how it sort of like fades into black when you uh, go down in intensity which is quite nice so i can really see that 
What one thing that I'm a bit, uh, you know, I'm a bit mis mystified is the fact that it's bright over here on the right side, and then if I go to the left side, it's bright on the right side still, which is a bit odd. But let's try and get the moon in. Now I have seen a video from somebody else who showed the Windbush basically of how they show you could get the moon to show up. So you do have to actually change the rotation in here in order to get the moon to show up. So I'm just going to like have a look and see you can see that there's the moon that's where the moon is and i'm just trying to bring it up and now i think we did bring it up but it's very intense so i'm gonna put out 0 0.1 so maybe maybe 0 0.5 no 0 0.5 is still too much 0 0.2 just so we can sort of like see where the moon would be but i still cannot see it which is um you know a bit unfortunate so i am going to try see how i can make it show up uh yeah this just moves it around but it doesn't allow it to show up which is a bit you know i think we can probably uh, get this if we increase its intensity so maybe let's try 100 no and i don't think it works from here so maybe moon intensity needs to be changed um from this point so we do have a sky sphere there maybe no this doesn't seem to be fixing it either. Uh, no, we, we definitely need to select the moon component. But I'm not really sure how you can get it to show up. Let me just continue to, to like experiment with this until I can get the moon up, <laughs> basically. Okay, so I think I figured it out. So I'm currently sitting at around, uh, I don't know, maybe midnight or something. I'm not even sure, actually. Uh, so I've just taken it down over here. So what we're going to do now is, with the moon component selected, we're just going to change this to a 1, just so we can get a bit of brightness. And the moon should be over there. So if we want to take it up, we're just going to, like, decrease this until the moon shows up. And you can see it right over there. That's the moon over there like that. But it's too bright. It's just brightening up the scene too much. So we're going to turn this down to a 0 0.2. That looks a lot better better and actually i like how it's actually lighting up these clouds is not too bad so if we now like switch over the problem that we have is that it no longer the moon no longer gets controlled as we do this so just be careful that if you want to set up a night scene that's fine but if you properly want to animate this you're going to have some issues and i think they will fix this once they get out of the experimental stage of this particular plugin uh, so that's just one thing for you to know now, also, I just wanted to touch upon how do you actually get this to be animated. So, in theory, you can animate this through the sequencer. So, if you click this uh, back button over here, you will be able to see again the 24 hours and the day sequence here. And if you double click the day sequence, this is going to show you that the sun is just simply an animated part of this. So, as, the, as this particular animation would play... This is what would animate the sun. This particular thing is what's animating the whole thing. And what you'll notice is that the actual moon isn't in here. And that's why the moon isn't animated. So you will have to add it and, and basically make it so that it rotates. I would say this is not a proper solution what they've done here. This is more of a, a placeholder solution. We'll see what they do in the future. But basically you could replicate this by copying the this values of the moon and setting them up to a negative sort of like sort of like the moon follows the sun or the sun follows the moon if you get what i mean anyway that's basically it for this particular uh topic i hope you um really enjoyed and learned something so basically guys if you like the project please leave a like comment and subscribe i will be um sort of like merging the atmos forge with this in a future update in 5.5 if you guys want to support the channel and you know want to buy me a coffee and get access to all my projects just head on over to patreon and as i said for the price of a coffee you can get everything so i hope you guys enjoy that i've definitely i'm really looking forward to see what they do next with it uh but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one keep creating